Maybe they, uh, they make ultra. A what? They make ultra. Make ultra? Mm -hmm. Do you want to short or bottle? Bottle. Uh -huh. Are you getting ready to move to Oklahoma, and especially Edmond, Oklahoma? And you're wondering what the cost of living is in Edmond, Oklahoma? Are you? Well, if that's something you're interested in learning about, stick around because we're getting ready to talk about that. So excited you guys stopped by today. If this is your first time to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because we go over everything about Oklahoma, living in, moving to, relocating to, cost of living, pros and cons, and that's what this channel is about. Also, guys, don't forget, we are a local real estate agent, so if you are looking to move to Oklahoma, especially Edmond, give us a call. We'd be glad to help you out and assist you in your move to Oklahoma. Now, let's get in today's video. Well, Robert. How do you think Edmond stacks up compared nationally in the cost of living? Well, Josh, I'll be honest with you. I looked it up in case you asked me that question. <laughs> we are high. We are in the over the 99th percentile in the nat for the national average. So it is expensive here. Uh, but what comes with living in Edmond is uh, it's a very well taken care of city. So a lot of people want to live here for many reasons. The schools are great. This is a very clean city. A uh, lot to do in Edmond. There's a lot of activities uh, a lot of like 68 yeah or a, lot of, a lot of things coming up that you can do in Edmond without having to leave Edmond uh, plenty of parks and uh, new businesses coming up that you know you can take your families to it's a great family oriented uh, city so there, there's a ton to do here and this place here Eddie's is you know one of the best restaurants here love the food love the atmosphere we all come here and have a great time so always feel free to stop in for lunch or something you love it here and when we're talking about Edmond seems expensive, it seems expensive for Oklahoma. But on average, with it only being 99.1% on average, it's still just the same amount of cost as anywhere else nationwide. You're just you're just thinking expensive compared to other parts of Oklahoma. Is that, is that kind of correct? Right? Yes, yeah. I mean, uh, your groceries aren't going to be more expensive here just because you're in Edmond. The housing market is, uh, you know, you're going to spend more on houses in Edmond on an average than in some of the other cities. And, that, and that's some of the other cities, some of the other locations. But Edmond as a whole, yes, it's up there, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna break the bank to live in Edmond. And I'm, I'm really glad you brought up the housing because we were looking at the numbers last night and on housing, Edmond is 105% of the national average in housing costs. And that just recently happened over the last year because of all the demand of people moving here from out of state. So before, Edmond was below the national average by almost 20%. But over the last year, Edmond has jumped above the national average by 5% on housing. Yeah, I, I, I can believe that. You know, and of course in today's market, everything's kind of getting a good bump right now. Um, but Edmond, Edmond in itself, uh, yeah, I would say well, we probably average around 300,000 in your average home, uh, price, home prices. So, you know, it's, it's it's not super expensive. It's not something that's way out there that you can't look into. So don't be shy or scared away from, oh, can't move to Edmond, it's too ritzy, it's too, it's too much. It is maybe higher on the national average, but it's a great place, especially if you're looking to move in with a the family. There are so many different price ranges, so many areas of looking in Edmond that you would probably love. So don't skip it. Don't be afraid to check it out. Give us a call, let us, let us show you around and show you what Edmond has to offer. And grocery wise, I feel like, I feel like um, the groceries, at least for me, I mean, we're buying for three kiddos and two adults. I'm probably spending a, at least 300 bucks every two weeks on groceries. What about you and Monica? How much are you well, guys spending? Josh, it is just me and the wife, but I'm probably spending about the same amount. Oh, wow. I like to eat, okay? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, it's it, he's, he's right. You're right. That's probably going to be the average of what you're going to spend for a family of four to five. Uh, I just happen to eat as much as a family of four or five. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, it's yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're spot. <smart. laughs> well, you do a lot of working out too. How much does the local gym cost? Uh, you know, there, you know that's the other great thing. There, there are a lot of different gyms and different locations in Edmond for gyms to go to, and everything's going to have different prices. They have, you know, you got Lifetime, which is uh, you know a great gym, but it comes with a lot, so it's going to be more cost. It's going to cost more monthly, but it does come. I, I've never been there myself, but. From what I've got word of mouth, it has quite a bit to offer there. Uh, so it's a little bit more than just a gym. Uh, whereas, like, I go to Gold's, I go there just to live. That's what I do. But they do have trainers and they do have aerobics classes and they do have all these things. And you can probably get into most of these from anywhere from 20 to $50 a month. Some of them maybe even a little bit cheaper. So it just depends really on 
what it is you're looking for uh, location wise to your in proximity to you and uh, you know what you can afford. Do you have any friends? I don't. The reason I was asking is, do you have any friends that uh, go to the tennis or have the tennis membership or the golf memberships or anything like that here in Edmond? Uh, not here in Edmond. I do have some in Oklahoma City. Uh, but there is a kicking bar, which is actually just across the street here from Eddie's. Uh, you know, they do have great tennis set up, and you can definitely go there, and, and I'm sure they have, um, you know, competitions, classes, and, and training sessions you can get into, uh, along with a great a great city course uh, that they continue to try to increase and try to, uh, you know, make better. So uh, there's quite a few golf courses here in Edmond. Uh, you know, a lot of them are public, so you you really don't have to worry about not being able to get into them because they're all private anymore, now they're mostly public. So that's a great thing. What's a social membership cost at one of them on average? I would probably put most of them on the social, probably around 150. Oh wow. It's probably, you know, and that's, and that, it, that's pool. Yes, that's pool, it's access to most everything. The tennis is gonna be separate. Uh, you know, golf is gonna be separate, but uh, some of them, like the membership I, or the club that I'm a part of, they allow us to golf if I go for somebody who has a golf membership. But I do have to pay per play with that golf. So, but I, I can still golf, I just, because I'm somebody who golfs maybe four times a year. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna pay for a monthly membership to golf only four times a year. So I'll just pay, you know, a lot in June or July when I, when I golf those four times and then have the cheaper membership the rest of the year. So, uh, yeah, there, it's, it, and that's a great activity for family, a great place to get away. They usually have a lot of activities uh, that you can include kids with or even for just adults. So look into the country clubs around here and see what they have to offer and it's something that fits your family between all the different clubs that we have, there's plenty to choose from. Well, we talked about housing costs, we talked about grocery costs, we talked about recreational costs, gyms and, and golf memberships and things of that nature. What about utility costs? Uh, what the computer's telling me is it's about even or on par with the national average the utilities here in Edmond. Do you, how much do you think your utilities run in Edmond per month? Your electric, trash, and sewer, that's all on one bill in Edmond. Is that right? It is. Uh, well, yeah, let's see. Yeah, water, trash, and electric are all together uh, in Edmond. If you live, it, depending on what part of Edmond you're in. Right. Uh, you know, you have the city of Edmond, which, uh, you know, Edmond Electric, uh, if you're in those parts. Otherwise, you're going to be with OG&E. Um, and then OG, of course. Uh, Cost-wise, you know, I, I, I lived here for so long, I, I think they're, I think they're average. I don't think they're too expensive, but, you know, depending on the size of the house, size of your family, how much you need to heat or cool your house. Uh, again, it's just me and the wife and, and our son, and between us three, we don't have to heat or cool the house very often, uh, or as much. We're gone a lot during the day, so we don't use a lot of heat. But then if you got a, you know, somebody like you who has a large family but a lot of little kids, you guys are early home more often. So much and water. So yeah, you're My spending dang a lot water bill. <laughs> you're going to spend a lot more on different utilities. So we're going to use utilities different. Yeah. So uh, you know, the question when it comes to utilities for me, I always try to explain to people. You know, it, it depends on who's living in the house, how they're utilizing it. How big is the house? If you're only, you know, in a 1,500 square foot home, uh, and you're comparing that to a 3,500 square foot home, there's going to be a difference in your utility cost. Just it, it is what it is. You know, if you have a sprinkler system and you're watering your lawn. You know, check with the cities. Every city has, uh, you know, different designated things for watering your lawns, so you don't overuse the water. But check on that, and, and that's gonna that's gonna help give an increase. But it'll give you a nice, pretty lawn, but you don't have to go out and water yourself. Uh, Robert and I, we both lived in different towns over the years, and. And when you're living in Oklahoma City, anywhere that uses og &E, you can average your bill. It's been so long since I lived in Edmond. Can you still average your utility bills in Edmond? You can. I don't do that. So I, I don't have a lot of information regarding that. But yes, you can. It, it, is, it is possible that you still do in Edmond. So averaging you know, will help out with cost when you're moving to Edmond, in the Edmond area. Um, Oklahoma. All of Oklahoma has a walkability score of only 34%. So that means you do have transportation costs that are higher. And then in your more walkable cities like Portland or Seattle or San Francisco, how much do you think you spend annually on car maintenance, Robert? Mm. Well, you're talking to a real estate agent who drives around a lot. <laughs> okay. yeah, not just in Edmond. I, you know, we, we work this real estate thing in so many surrounding areas around Oklahoma City. So. Uh, 
um, but at the same time, uh, you know, I, I don't feel like I have to do too much maintenance on my vehicle. Uh, just your average, as long as you upkeep with it the way you're supposed to, you're good. Uh, but there's, you know, if we're discussing, you know, Edmund alone, um, they do have city transportation. Um, if you're down in the downtown area, and there's, like I said, that's where there's quite a bit to do over there. So, and you can, you can easily get around on bikes. Uh, a lot of the areas, uh, the northern, eastern parts of Edmond, they actually have, we have bike trails and a lot of parks. We have, they actually have signs on the main roads to make sure that the person's riding bikes, uh, that you make sure you give them the three feet of space. It's the law, you give them three feet. And you will see them a lot on the weekends, sometimes in the evenings, riding down the miles in the back roads. Enjoying it. So it's, a, it's a great way. Edmond is a very active city. And that's one of the things I really love about it. There's a lot going on activity wise. So if you have a family or even if you're just an active person yourself, there's so much you can get into around here without having to leave the city. Wow. Edmond sounds like a really great place to be at. When, when you're talking about all those great amenities, all those great add ons, like the bicycling, the uh, festivals, all the things the city does for the citizens, that all comes from sales tax revenue. How does the sales tax revenue compare to other cities, or is it even noticeable to, to the point that you can tell when you're living in that? I wasn't even noticed. Okay. I, I, I've lived here for 16 years now, and I don't feel like it's it's something that's been noticeable. Uh, I know we do give an extra percent for school tax, um, but we have great schools. It's, you know, it's one of the things that draws a lot of families to wanting to live in Edmond is the high rate of the schools that we have. We have so many schools. Uh, you know, they've talked about opening up fourth high school. Uh, they, they haven't set a date yet, but that is something that will be in the works. They just opened up in August. There's supposed to be at least one more elementary school opening up. And so they continue to grow, but we can continue to put into it a little bit more. I think it's, it's helped, uh, you know, keep our education uh, with the higher rankings here, which brings a lot of families. So I moved to Edmond. <laughs> I did. We moved here to put our kids in, in, into the uh, into the Edmond schools. That's awesome. And we hear that a lot with a lot of customers that we help when they're moving to the Edmond. Yeah, and I fell in love with it. He's graduated now, and I, I haven't left. I don't plan on going anywhere. So we've hit on transportation costs, we've hit on utility costs, we've hit on housing costs, grocery costs, and overall costs. There is kind of a limit, but it's for all of Oklahoma altogether because Oklahoma has a higher health care cost. On average, excuse me, on average, the health care cost in Oklahoma, not just Edmond, but all of Oklahoma, it's 117% of the national average. Um, you're probably not having to deal with a lot of health care costs right now at this age, at this age in life that you are, and I'm not either, but every time I've gone to the doctor, I, I, I don't have any costs because I'm a combat vet and I'm, an, I'm a Native American. Have you dealt with any health care costs? Does it, does it seem crazy, that extra 17%? Well, you know, first, talking personally, I got my own issues with high cholesterol, but, you know, it's gen uh, genetic, I guess, or hereditary, whatever you want to call it. Uh, no, it's, uh, you know, I, I, I haven't noticed it. I, I, I don't. Um, you know, health care, I don't see that there's much of a difference just from being in heaven. I think it's... It, it does not impact me. No. Going back to gasoline, do you think Edmond charges more than any of the other cities in Oklahoma? No, 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 no. I've actually, I've actually uh, you know, I try to get my gas in Edmond. Um, you know, I, I've noticed in some areas it is more expensive, but I don't feel like Edmond is, uh, you know, of course, being in real estate, we travel to all the different, <laughs> I travel to all the different cities all the time. I'm constantly in a different city, Bailey. And I do end up having to get gas on different sides of town. The gas prices here are not any higher. Now, when you get out to more remote areas, they typically charge more, but that's it cost more to get the gas out there. Other than that, no, 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 no up charge in the gas prices. I'm really glad you brought that up. Going to remote areas, we use the turnpike because Oklahoma doesn't give you free highways. They give you <laughs> highways that you have to pay for. Um, that was something that when I got into real estate, I realized real quick I need to get a bike pass. And I probably have to refill it two or three times a month because like you said, we're in real estate and that's $40 a recharge, but we're putting three to 5,000 miles a month on our vehicles. Now remember though, it's not a $40, it, 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 it's a $40 charge, but what they do is, and I believe you can set different levels, 
but when it when your account drops down to ten dollars left in your account, they recharge you up to forty. Yeah. So yep. maybe only a thirty dollar charge, or I believe if you wanted to, you may be able to set that price to thirty dollars. Uh, but it's really great because yes, you're getting charged for, but you don't have to refill. You don't have to worry about it going over. But it's not if you're not using it all the time. It's not super expensive. You're not getting charged monthly to have a bike pass. Yeah. Okay. So you're only. The only time you're using that is when you're using the Pi Pass. So you could have one and not, I mean, you could go months without having to re up on your account to fill it back up if you're not using it all the time. Like you said, we use it all, all the, time, the time, frequently, <laughs> all the time. Uh, you know, my wife and my son also use them, so, you know, we do the same. We go through a couple of refills within a month, but there were times, you know, before I got into real estate where we weren't using it as much and it, it would take a lot longer to have to rebuild. You sometimes go two months without having a week. So, but it's a great, it's great to have that access to it. It's great to have access to the turnpike depending on where you want to go, especially if you want to go somewhere like Yukon or something like that. Now, even into the Choctaw, Mustang, Mustang areas, yeah, but now that, now that they've extended the turnpike, you can, oh, get, yeah, out, you can get out east, you can get out east a lot easier as well, depending on where you're coming from. So it's really nice. It's, it's, it's a great something to have. And it's a convenience fee that you have to wait do you want to use the free older highways compared to the new turnpikes? It's a convenience fee. You, we could still get places mm -hmm. without the turnpike if we wanted to. You avoid more traffic by using the bypass. How much time does it save you, do you think? Just a guess. I know that's hard to tell. Uh, I would probably say a good five to ten minutes on average. Um, depending on where I'm going, there's times where I'm going across town on the other side of Evan, and just by using the bike pass, I'm saving what would be a 30 minute drive to a 15 to 20 minute drive. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it, it really depends on where you're going and of course at different times of days. I mean, there's, you know, uh, depending on the time of day, if you're hitting a lot of traffic, your, your major highways are going to have a lot more traffic. Whereas the bike pass, even though it is becoming more frequently used, it's still a less traffic jam. Yeah. So you're going to get through the city a lot quicker if it's within route and can be used. I'd yeah. use it anytime if I had to. <laughs> yeah. Always. It's a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, that's a real rough opening on the cost of living in Edmond, in Edmond, Oklahoma. So put your comments down below. Give us a call. Shoot us a text. Let us know what cost of living questions that you have. Robert and I, we're both real estate agents. We're here to earn your business. We're here making a move to or move within Edmond, Oklahoma and the state of Oklahoma. Is there any other things you can right, put well, out there First of all, I appreciate you guys joining me for lunch. Yeah, I, I was hungry. The food here is delicious. I couldn't stop myself from eating. So I uh, apologize for stuffing my face while trying to also have a conversation with you guys. But I'm telling you, the food here is amazing. Give us a call if you're heading this way. We'd love to chat with you. We'd love to see you know, if, if this is a good fit for you here in Edmond. And Edmond's not a fit. We work in all the surrounding areas, uh, different cities. So if you're looking to move to Oklahoma City, Midwest City, Yukon, Choctaw, Mustang, Norman, Moore, Guthrie, you know, you name it, we work those areas. And we'd be glad to help you out and answer any questions you have about those areas as well. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video with all your friends. See you guys on the next clip. Say Carolina spice. Sorry, you're talking. <laughs> you're eating. You're eating. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, you're not talking. Sorry. You know I'm saying so. I really enjoy the Carolina mustard flavor. Uh huh. But it's it's their one of their mildest flavors. Oh, good. I like hot stuff. Yeah. But because the flavor is so good, I still get it. Yeah. So, and everything else I get, I like the spicy on. And this place is Eddie's? Eddie's. Eddie's, second and Bryant? Second Coltrane. Coltrane, second Coltrane, Edmund, Oklahoma. Oh, hey guys.